In this shoemaking tutorial, I will teach you how to create this kind of folds inside of your upper. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. So, let's start. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. Before I will explain the pattern making approach, you need to understand the main principle of this creation, of this construction. To create these folds inside of the upper, you will need to have big upper and lining exactly as your basic pattern that will match the top line of your shoes. For example, the top line of these shoes here so the lining will be the same as the basic button plus extra seam allowance that we need to add to the lining, but upper will be marked bigger. And now you will see. So this is the lining that match the top line that I wanted to create inside of these shoes. This is the lining. And this is the upper. You see, it's much longer because we have this big upper when we will attach it to the lining, this is how we will create these folds. Okay? So, you will see that this is how we will assemble these two parts. And when we will assemble these two parts, we will work according to the edge of the lining. I will need to assemble upper with lining in the way where lining the edge of the lining match the line the, the line of the upper the edge of the upper and the top line of the upper will match the top line of the lining and this is how we can create here folds Now I will not attach the edge of the upper here to the edge of the lining and the edge, bottom edge of the upper to the edge of the lining. But this is the main principle of this work. Okay? We work according to these two edges. So how to create this pattern? First of all, we need to have the basic pattern. And in my case, this is the basic pattern. And lining will be the same as I mentioned in the beginning. So this is pattern of the lining with the middle seam. Because my upper will be without this increased line that we have on the upper. It will be flat. It will be placed on a long straight central line. So that's why lining will be repeat the shape of our shoe last. And it will have this curve line and the upper will have straight line like this okay because it's uh, only my choice to create these folds on the middle of the upper here it could be also uh, for example uh, in the boots can This is the boots and you can create this fold for example here in front and here will be zipper okay so here you will work uh, you will work uh, with the central line of your boots you will not need to create here extra uh, deformation to your upper to create this kind of straight line so uh, I will not talk about it how to uh, transform this curved line of our pattern to the straight line okay i will explain the approach uh, how to create this folds inside of any shoe pattern okay so we have lining that will repeat the shape of the shoe last 
and the upper that much longer than the original pattern, that, uh, much longer than the basic pattern and much longer than the lining pattern. And this is how it looks. What you need to decide here is how many folds you want to create inside of your upper. And sometimes it uh, requires a few steps where, for example, you will decide that you will want to create folds, uh, many folds, and you need to check it by making the prototype. Then you can, you after you, you will make this prototype, you can decide that you need to uh, reduce the amount of folds that you created. So you will need to reduce the upper pattern. Okay, so to be sure how, ma how many folds you want to create, you need to make a sample. After you will create a pattern, you will need to check how it looks and decide mm -hmm. if you want to stay with this amount of folds, enlarge it or reduce it. Okay, so this is the main technique. Now, how to do that? In this pattern, you see, I created folds on the instep. You also create one. Uh, you also can create folds on the on the toe. But what is important here is to avoid creation of folds in the edge of the insole, because if we will have here folds, it will be very difficult to create sole, because our shoe bottom must be flat. And now I will show you how to do it. So from this basic pattern, I made this flat pattern for the upper. Now you need to have the mark of your um, lasting allowance. You need to have the edge of your shoe last. For example, I want to create folds only in this area, not in, in the place where I created in the instep, but in the, in the front part of the shoe. That means that you will need to enlarge your pattern starting from the line of the lasting allowance, starting from the edge of the shoe last. So I will start to create folds from this point from here. I will need to make few cuts until the edge of the line uh, lasting lasting allowance until the edge of the last then i will need to open it and this is how we enlarge our upper pattern to create folds in this place in this special place and our folds will be still the edge we will have maybe in this place tiny folds but it will be very very small folds that almost will be not visible because okay, we have also the thickness of the leather so we will not see them so this is how we will enlarge it and we need to attach it with masking tape You, you need to open it evenly. Here we will have a small tiny fold like this, but we will not create, we will not uh, want to reduce this amount of material here. So we will try to flatten it here with our top fingers okay now i will continue to enlarge my upper to create folds not only here in this place but also here and here it's very easy i will cut starting from this line where i already created fold i will cut button and we'll enlarge it because here i don't want because here I already will not have sole, shoe sole in this place in my design. I don't have the sole. So it's not bother me if I will have here folds. I will just enlarge it on amount, uh, on that amount of uh, centimeters on how much I want to enlarge the upper, how many folds I want to create. And as I told you before, 
it all it uh, always by trial and error okay for example i want to enlarge it on four centimeters so i mark four centimeters on the top you see it here we will also create straight line so stay on the one straight line here and four centimeters on the edge and attach here with the masking tape and then uh, we will need to copy this pattern to the new piece of cardboard to create complete pattern so here you see I have kind of bump and we need to erase it by cutting this extra with the ruler just continue this straight line with the straight line that we have here on the top and this is our new central line okay then you will need to place this pattern to new piece of cardboard and repeat not repeat copy this line here you see i will have same straight line that i have here i just continue it And this is the pattern of the upper make sure that you have here straight line maybe here it's not so clear visible so make it very clear for you and this is one half of the upper now i will need to this line and create outer part of this upper okay and that's it this is how you will make this kind of folds almost any footwear type as i mentioned in boots in palms in mule sandals everywhere okay this is the approach okay if you have more questions please comment below this video and Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.